with a long-awaited announcement by the government on how they're going to bring off the moratorium, which was due to expire at the end of June, has now been made, whereby the moratorium has been extended until March 2022. Firstly, I forecast this in various uh, uh, missives which I've been sending over the last few weeks. And secondly, I did also forecast that there should be some sort of determination uh, with regard to uh, landlords and tenants who, with the extension of nine months now, still cannot agree terms. Uh, the government have announced that they are going to bring in a an enforced binding arbitration on the parties that if landlords don't help tenants or if tenants are unreasonable with landlords because they can afford to pay and haven't been affected by the uh, by the uh, by the uh, closure, uh, those will be inverted commas arbitrated. Uh, I'm also suggesting that the government should bring in some serious punishments for anybody who behaves uh, against the spirit of what the government is trying to achieve, which is keeping together tripartite relationships between bankers, landlords and tenants, or tenants, landlords and bankers. Without the tenant in place, many landlords will get into a position whereby th whereby they, they can't replace that tenant in a post-coronavirus market at a pre-coronavirus pre rent, especially in the leisure and hospitality industries and any industries which are affected by tourism, which is still going to be closed for the next three to six months. And even when it does open, it's not going to be at the levels it has previously. Tenants can't pay rents to landlords if they can't fill the coffers. Landlords have to pay interest to their banks and actually destroying their tenant may leave them in a worse, worse position than they find themselves by giving a little bit of help. The bottom line is the mathematics, which is quite important, and that's that a tenant who's paying 100000 a year on an investment which is giving the landlord a yield of 4% uh, gives the landlord a value of £2.4 million. Right, and the fifty thousand pounds he's offering, he's asking for six months rent free to get him through the problems. Right, means that the landlord will either have to increase his loan to value, which is probably one point eight million, about sixty six percent of loan to value to the bank by fifty thousand pounds. Right, to give that to the tenant in order to get, in order to help him through the problems, because uh, uh, bankruptcy, uh, CVAs. Uh, the new Section 26A under the Finance Act, which was in the Virgin Active and also in the uh, in the Virgin Active and also the New Look cases, uh, do give uh, tenants a way out of leases uh, in order to get out of all the debt and also actually almost determine their own realistic terms going forwards. Uh, nobody wants that. Right, and so arbitration is probably the best way to deal with it. And if arbitrations uh, aren't pursued, then uh, who knows what's going to happen to the market? I forecast that two out of three restaurants in Leicester Square would go, uh, would be closing their doors forever uh, if the landlords don't help the tenants. Uh, Leicester Square just being one example, but this happens all over the country, whether in the high street in the Midlands or up north, or whether in the central London market. Out of the 80 or so negotiations we're permanently handling, uh, we have had success with around about 66% of them, two thirds. Uh, the other ones, we have had landlords who just refuse to help. Well, they'll be, they'll be at the other end of a, of a liquidation or CVA. And we have helped our tenants where we're acting for landlords uh, because uh, we have to be pragmatic and the coronavirus affects all of us. And if uh, the parties can't keep their relationships together, not only the property market will be destroyed, uh, but uh, uh, layman's uh, a banking crash caused office rents to depreciate by 32% in only six months between June uh, 2008 and uh, December 2008. We did three rent reviews in the same building on identical space at 102, uh, 78 and 68 pounds a square foot. And I can see that if, if landlords lose their tenants all over the market, uh, we're not only have, we're going to have a collapse of various landlords, but also a banking crisis. Uh, so I think the government's acted sensibly. Uh, if people can't do what they're asked to do, then you're going to have to force them to do it. An arbitration or some other form of mediation uh, may be the only way to do that. Uh, hopefully that will give the message to tenants, landlords and bankers uh, to engage really constructively over the next three months 
uh, to avoid the arbitration procedure and especially to avoid uh, liquidations, bankruptcies, CVAs, Section 26A, restructuring plans, etc. Uh, we're available to uh, speak to any landlord or tenant who, who needs any help uh, because that's what we've been doing for the last year and uh, hopefully this message will come loud and clear uh, to tenants to behave yourselves and don't actually put up cases when you don't need the help and to landlords to uh, realise that uh, they've got their responsibility to help their tenants through these incredibly difficult times. Nobody wants to be where we are and we've got to make the best out of a very, very difficult world uh, that we're going into. Speak soon.